How cute does this look? Cute? Hello. Welcome to Gussie It Up. Today we are gonna tackle biscuits. Biscuits are crazy to me because people get intimidated by them very easily. And so I wanted to teach you the easiest biscuit. It is, you cannot mess it up. It is the drop biscuit. It's for the non-biscuit maker biscuit recipe. Let's make a biscuit, okay? You're gonna start with your flour. This is just AP flour and it goes into a bowl. All the time people get very precious about their biscuits and they talk about, you're gonna, you're gonna grate your butter, it's gonna be ice cold. You need to put it in the freezer, you're gonna cut it in. It's very stressful, right? This is not that biscuit. This biscuit is actually using a melted butter. You take all your dry ingredients and then you pour your wet ingredients in and then you drop them. That's the name, is a drop biscuit. There's no rolling, there's no cutting, there's barely measuring you all. It's just very easy and if you're, if you're wanting to start learning to make biscuits, this is how you do it. So, we have our flour into the bowl and I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Those are all my dry ingredients, okay? If you wanted to use self-rising flour, you could, but I know everybody can't get self-rising flour. Self-rising flour is this flour that has the salt and the baking powder already added to your um, flour. And so all that measuring that we just did, you kind of don't have to do. You just throw in a little bit of sugar and go for it. Just give that a little whisk. Easy, this is a dough whisk. This will make your life easier when you're making uh, biscuit dough. Now I'm gonna go in with my one cup of buttermilk. This is full fat buttermilk. That's the reason why we had to put in that baking soda because this is acidic, we needed the baking soda, which is basic, to balance it out so that our dough um, is on the pH level of it, it's neutral. And then one stick of melted butter, that's a half a cup. So now clearly it's not a big deal, right? It's not a big deal um, to stress about your butter, is it the right temperature? Have I cut it? Is it pea size? All those words, all those things that can stress you out about making biscuits. When you melt your butter, it's just not gonna happen. You're also not gonna get a flaky biscuit. You're gonna get a cakey biscuit from this recipe. And that's just fine, especially if it's like, you're new to making biscuits. You're learning to make a biscuit that comes together in minutes. You're also learning to make a biscuit that's perfect for Eating at your breakfast brunch, like a Sunday brunch, perfect biscuit. This is a great biscuit for having with gravy. This is also a great biscuit to have with like soup or as a dinner roll. This is that biscuit. This is not the biscuit that you wanna make if you're gonna um, make like a, an hors d'oeuvre where you wanna use the, the biscuit as like a, you wanna cut it in half and half and turn it into a sandwich. Because these biscuits are gonna be a little bit ununiform, right? They're gonna feel a little bit um, rustic, very organic, very natural. What you're noticing now is that I am working it a little bit, so we're not gonna knead at all, right? I'm not turning this out, I'm not flouring my surface, I'm not gonna knead. All I'm gonna do is work it in the bowl. And so I'm mixing it a couple more times than I would normally work a dough in my bowl. Typically I just barely get it to come together and be done. But I do need to create some structure in these biscuits and that's why I worked a little bit more. And you'll see when it's ready, it kind of just like, the dough has come together. It's, it's a dough. Look at that texture. Now I'm gonna use a scoop. My scoop is gonna do all the work. That's gonna be my drop biscuit. You can also just use a spoon, but I love using a scoop because it makes the exact same size biscuit. They cook at the same amount of time and also um, you always know exactly how many biscuits you're gonna get. I'm gonna get six from this recipe which is a perfect amount for two people, I think. It's like two biscuits for breakfast with biscuits and gravy, and then one biscuit to have sorghum butter on, right? What's your favorite thing to eat on a biscuit? Let me know in the comments below while you're down there. If you wanna give us a like, that's awesome. If you wanna comment, that's great. If you wanna subscribe, that's the best. And hit that little bell so you know when we release new content. Ding, ding. I don't know if I needed that ding ding, but I just really wanted to give you something extra. Okay, so you just scoop. It's not exactly flat, it's a little bit heapy. You kind of press the dough into it, and then you just go onto a parchment lined 
um, cookie sheet. I do the lining so it doesn't stick. This is a nonstick, so you could go straight onto your pan. It's like a dark line nonstick. Um, but it will make the biscuit bottoms even crunchier, which if you like that, that's a great thing to do. You can also go onto like a stainless cookie sheet, but you'll need to butter it. Look at that. Boop. And any of those little cragglies or nooks or crannies are gonna create some, some different like kind of textures and stuff for your biscuit, which are pretty great. Now you could, you could technically take this dough and roll it out. It could be, um, it could be a rolled and cut biscuit. Um, but you don't have to, because it's not gonna make it a flaky biscuit. Even if I roll this out and do those like, what they call envelope folds, you're never gonna get a biscuit that is truly a flaky biscuit with layers of butter in there because we melted that butter. So you might as well just do a drop biscuit with it, right? Just drop biscuit it. That one got a little tiny, but that's okay. Now, to make sure they're gonna come out extra golden brown and delicious, I have egg wash here. That's just a tablespoon of water with one egg. And I'm just gonna brush all over my biscuit. You can sprinkle the top of these with anything you want, right? So a little bit of salt and pepper on the top of these, that's great. You can also brush the top with, or sprinkle the top with an everything seasoning to make it an everything biscuit. That's also great. You can put some herbs and cheese into these biscuits. So if you want to um, make this your own, maybe add some thyme and some cheddar cheese. You can do garlic and um, a smoked gouda. Those are all great add-ins and, and they won't affect the recipe, right? You can just add that in to that base dough and go for it. You can also turn these a little bit sweet, like these are perfect for a strawberry shortcake. Increase the sugar, like double the sugar, and then sprinkle the top with some turbinata sugar. And now you have these gorgeous biscuits for strawberry shortcake. Okay, now, everybody stresses, there's no need, our biscuits are ready to go in the oven. Boop, 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 boop. I didn't know, I kind of, I freaked out there. I was gonna go boom, and then I was gonna go bum, 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 and I freaked out, and that's what happened. 450 degrees, 11 to 13 minutes until they're golden brown and the centers are just set. And don't you even worry because, ooh, I have us some ready to go. Hello, angels. Look at those little babies. Woo wee. So that egg wash does a lot to make these look like golden and delicious. They smell so good. They're buttery. They're gonna be super tender on the inside. I'm gonna eat one the way I always had them growing up, which is sorghum butter. Sorghum is, um, it's a syrup. And it tastes a little bit like molasses, but it's its own grain, right? It's a grain that they cook and turn into syrup. So this is sorghum syrup. Now, here's how our dad did it. He just took cold butter. It was never warm butter. It was cold butter, and then he would mash, very roughly mash the salted butter in with the sorghum. It would not be homogenous, okay? Don't look for something that's homogenous in, in the Phillips household. That wasn't gonna happen. That's our sorghum butter right there. So then you take your plate, get out here, take my plate, get, which biscuit? this biscuit, right? And you're just gonna see, right? You just kinda like break that guy open, see? Hello. That's why this is so good for, for eating with biscuits and gravy. It's, it's really a cakey cream biscuit on the inside. Oh my God, you all, it's so good. Okay, now a little bit of sorghum butter. Again, you see, it is not in any way all mixed in. And you just kinda put that sorghum butter delight onto your biscuit. And this is gonna be better than any biscuit you can buy at the grocery store. It's gonna feel like homemade, but it's not gonna have necessarily all those little stress, those little stress notes that some people sometimes talk about with biscuits, which is no reason to. I don't know why. We should just make biscuits. Everybody should be making biscuits every day. You know, like, they're an easy, very humble food. We don't have to freak out about them. 
right? We can just make something that tastes delicious and is from scratch. Feels gussied up, but doesn't stress us out. And the bottom, you guys, look at that. Crispy little bottom. Mm. Tender little inside, my mom would be proud. Those little bits, they get so crunchy. They get so crunchy and delicious, and it's such a different texture from the inside. So I'm really making a mess out of everything. You guys, this is one of my favorite recipes of all time, and I love sharing it with you because I really want you to make some recipes that feel like you're confident in the kitchen, but also you made them from scratch, and they don't stress you out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Gutsy Up Biscuit Time. But 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 biscuit time. But biscuit time. But biscuit time. Bye. How long are we gonna do? Are we gonna cut? We're just gonna keep going. The biscuit. Okay, come on. No, it's the biscuit time. Cut back to the biscuit. <laughs> come on, these guys. Cut.